Hi guys, Chef Kyle Brandt, Cisco Ontario South Region. We're here today in the kitchen and we're gonna be working with uh, some basic American products. We've got the Golden Grill seasoned hash browns. We're gonna make some fun and exciting dishes with that. We're gonna do something with their lentil pe uh, penne pasta. And we've got the Brilliant Beginnings mashed potatoes. Absolutely love this product, super, super easy. I've got my one bag of the uh, potatoes in my bowl. I got three liters of boiling water. And all you do is you dump that in, give it a quick, quick little stir. And then all you need to do, wrap that up and let it sit for 12 minutes. And you've got amazing mashed potatoes, just like that. After 12 minutes, fluff it up. If you want to make it a little richer, just add some cream, some roasted garlic, some fresh herbs, a little bit of salt and pepper. No one will ever know it was a dried product. This comes out absolutely amazing. Be back in 12 minutes. We'll see how this turns out. All right, 12 minutes, we're back. Let's pull off the saran wrap. All right, grab your mat. No, you don't need this. You need this. Look at this. No more lumpy, gluey mashed potatoes. Love this stuff. I've heated up a little bit of uh, some cream, a little bit of roasted garlic, some salt and pepper. And add that in there. And again, it's just a quick little mix. Let's get it all incorporated. So you imagine the time saving, the labor saving, just the sheer money you can save back a house with not having somebody peel your potatoes, dice them, chop them up, get them into a pot, get them boiled, get them strained off in time before they turn into glue on you. 12 minutes. I don't know how you can beat that. I'm going to throw a quick shepherd's pie together. I sauteed off some, uh, some ground beef, a little bit of carrots, peas, a little bit of corn. Got a little gravy mix there. All right, I'm just gonna grab a spoon, put a little bit of that into my dish. Now I got those beautiful fluffy mashed potatoes. Put that in there. Clean off the edges a little bit. You're putting shepherd's pies together in no time flat. It's just a lovely product. And like I said, a little bit of fresh herbs in there, colors really start popping. Can't go wrong with this dish. All right, from there, I'm gonna move into a, a vegan mac and cheese using Basic American's lentil pasta. Be right back. All right, guys, and we're back. I'm Dave Piper, I'm in the Woodstock kitchen. A uh, Couple great dishes from Kyle there. And uh, now we're looking at uh, Basic American Foods. They're plant-based uh, lentil penne. So a great alternative to a regular pasta. It's a great way to be able to uh, showcase a vegan pasta. We're talking about a, a complete protein here. We're talking about no artificial colors in that, which is very nice because it's a cool color in itself. That's not artificial. Uh, that is from the lentil. Uh, and you have 21 grams of protein in a serving. Okay, so what I've done is I've just popped some of that, uh, that pasta. I've cooked it off. Cooks off very similar uh, to your regular, if you're cooking off a regular penne, cooks off very similar from a, a time perspective. I've cooked some off. I do have a little bit of olive oil on there just so that it's not sticking. And I've got it in a cast iron pan, okay? From there, I have a little bit of a, a vegan uh, plant-based cream on the stove top. And I'm just warming it through. I'm not boiling it. I'm just warming it through. And what I'm gonna do is take some vegan shred mozzarella 
as well as some of the sliced cheddar for color. And I'm gonna put all this together in our cast iron pan into our convection oven and just get this thing bubbling and ooey gooey. Uh, and the awesome thing is, you know, rich, hearty, comfort food, vegan, and, and not too bad for you at all, okay? So just give me a second here. We'll whisk some of this cheese in and uh, we'll get this thing into the oven. Okay, just warm through. I'm gonna add in a handful of that cheese. And uh, we're just gonna whisk it in. Okay, let's do another one. And this isn't gonna get overly thick right now. Where it is gonna thicken up, we just wanna melt it. Where it is gonna thicken up is when we pop it into that uh, convection oven, okay? I think we're just about there. Do a little bit more. And let's kind of top this guy up. Okay. Reserved a little bit of cheese for the top. And I'm just gonna break up some of the cheddar slices. And again, I'm doing this just to get that, that kind of crust on top have a little bit of color just for that kind of that classic mac and cheese look all right that should do it so i'm gonna pop this into the convection oven check back in a few minutes and we should be good to go on this all right guys and we're back i just took the mac and cheese out of the oven let's take a look at that pretty good right bubbly nice right and you know no different we pulled uh we popped this in the oven kyle's uh shepherd's pie pulled that out got a little bit of a brown on it nice sheen on it as well so again we used kyle was using the brilliant beginnings potatoes you saw how easy that was 12 minutes he had beautiful potatoes he's got this amazing shepherd's pie that's ready to go in the uh, the third party delivery and be shipped across to the customer and then at the same token we have our plant-based, our uh, basic American lentil pasta here. And I've used a vegan cheese. I've used a plant-based cream, right? And all we need to do now, just hit it with a little bit of greenery. We can do some here as well. Okay. We're all set guys. Two awesome options. Both of them amazing comfort foods. Both of them an, a, a unique take on a, a classic comfort food dish um, and something that would look really nice on anyone's menu. All right, we'll be right back with some more uh, exciting uh, concepts. See you then. All right guys, we're back with the, uh, the last recipe for today, the last concept for today with Basic American Foods. Uh, and we're using uh, their Golden Grill hash browns. Uh, we have a, a Cisco branded version as well, uh, but we're using the Golden Grill today. And we just want to talk about basically how easy this can be. Obviously versatility with, uh, you know, potato, uh, it's always versatile. But the simplicity of this, all we're doing essentially here is filling this up with tap water and we're letting it sit for 20 minutes. And what happens there, essentially the, the potato gets rehydrated and it's ready to go. So let me just show you what that looks like here. So that's the potato that is soaked, okay? So what you can do from this point here uh, is, is all sorts of things. I mean, obviously uh, breakfast, you can fire it straight on the flat top with some oil and get a good brown on it. But uh, Kyle and I kind of put our heads together on this one and thought about something a little bit different uh, to use it as an ingredient that's uh, you know uh, out of the realm of what breakfast is so on the stove top i have some black bean crumble a chipotle black bean crumble and what kyle did he soaked it like i said and then we he cut them after frying them he did this in a pan you can do this uh like i said on the flat top but a nice golden brown in the pan okay and then just cut them into these squares and the thinking here is we're gonna do kind of a take on uh like a, like a Napoleon, an old older style dish, uh, but kind of with a new twist and something that, you know, we're thinking 
can go straight into the package and to the customer. So let's have a look at that. We've never done this before. Like I said, we just kind of put our heads together on the fly here. Let's see how we turn out uh, this recipe. So we have a dish there for takeout. This is sizzling away here. Okay. And that's warm. I'm going to line my container with one of these squares of fried potato okay and from there how are we gonna do this let's do let's go black bean crumble first and we're not gonna go too high I don't think here we don't want to make this a massive tower but we want to layer it up while that's hot I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of shred cheese Uh, I'm going to hit it with a chunky salsa, some shred lettuce. Okay, that's where we're at right now. Okay, let's do one more level. I don't know how many high we're going to get here, but let's go one more high. Okay, give it a little press again. Crumble. Make sure it's all the way to the edges. Cheese, that hot crumble, the hot potato, it's all gonna start to come together. It's all gonna melt together nicely. Let's hit it with that salsa. One more. And shred lettuce again. So, you can see this has got a, a, a real kind of nacho-esque type feel to it. Stack it up one more high. Let's see if we can't get the lid on this. Let's pop it up here so you guys can see it. Looks pretty impressive. It's a lot happening there. It's actually relatively heavy. Um, and let's see if we can put a lid on that thing. Perfect. Just ship it. That's all you have to do now is just ship it. Send it to the customer. Uh, you can make up big trays of this potato, soak it, fry it off, cut it. You can bake it easily on a sheet tray in your oven. No hassle there. Um, lots of ways of using this product. That's just one. Um, but if you need any more interesting ways of using this product, obviously reach out to myself or Kyle. Uh, and for any of the basic American food concepts we showed to you today you know if you have any questions let us know and we're here to support you guys okay thank you uh sales team and thank you basic american foods